It's really a it's really interesting how this all started actually. It was right around my sophomore year here at Penn State and that's when I was at a moment where I felt like I didn't know who I was and I've been walking around all this time just pretending to be something, right? And after this transformation, this was a process of me asking myself so many questions. Who am I outside of all of this? And wh what do I know about myself outside of the areas I'm comfortable answering, right? Now, when I did this soul searching, it allowed me to be in a position where I, I came to terms with everything about myself. And one thing that I realized that at, at the center of my heart is, is peace, is justice, right? Now, when I think about my experience at Penn State, I realized that um, there was a few pieces missing to the puzzle that I didn't know about resources when I first got here, right? And I can only imagine what other people felt or when I realized that this was common amongst all of my friends, I had to do something about it. And when you see so many things going on around the world, even though you may think you don't have a voice, you can always say something, right? You can always do something, whether it's small or big, we have the, the power, the tenacity to do something. So ever since that moment of my transformation in college, I just realized that in order to change the world, I have to understand the world. So I have to be immersed in different cultures. So I started um, traveling abroad. I did four study abroad programs in uh, Haiti and Cuba and Amsterdam and Australia. I've been in, in, involved in so many different clubs just to learn so much about people, the things that you can't learn inside of a textbook, right? And in, in totality, it puts me in a position where I, I am that voice for so many people because I feel socially, morally obligated to do something. I, I can't sit here and, and see someone going through something and not try to do anything. So one thing that I will say, because I'm a senior now and I'm, I'm getting out of here, I would tell students to get involved in things that, that um, is correlated with their, uh, what they're doing in the classroom because any form of engaged scholarship, I found for me that uh, the more I was involved in things that were orientated around what I'm doing in the classroom, that my grades went up as well as my involvement went up, right? But I also would say to students, and this is the most important thing of all of this, right? When you work hard, it will pay off. When I first came to college at Penn State, I came here on one scholarship. I had to take out loans my first year. But in the last two years, because you work hard and you just fight for what you believe in, I received 25 scholarships in two years. And it shows you that you know, this, if you work hard, it does get noticed. Someone does see what you're doing. And even when they don't see it, it just keep doing you. Just keep going. So.